Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn one new topic like how can we insert tag by using PHP with Ajax. Here we have used bootstrap token field plugin for display tag like used in WordPress tag taxonomy. If you have familiar with WordPress then in it when we have entered tag data for particular post or page then it will convert into stylish tag format. So here we will also make something like that. For generate look like WordPress tag taxonomy, here we have used bootstrap token field plugin with jQuery user interface library. So when we have enter something in text box then it will available option in drop down and we can select from that option and it will convert into WordPress type tag taxonomy. Now let's start learning this topic, this is our testing database and in this we have one program or table with three table column like id, name and skill. In this table we will store program or name with their different programming skill like no language framework and database. In skill data, user can enter from selecting available option and then it will convert into tag by using bootstrap token field plugin. This is our index page and on this page, here first link is used for load jQuery library, second link will load bootstrap style sheet file, third link will load bootstrap javascript file, fourth is for load jQuery user interface style sheet, fifth will load bootstrap token field style sheet file, sixth link will load jQuery user interface javascript file and last will load bootstrap token field plugin javascript library. This all links are required to include for this tutorial. Now we have moved to create one simple html form, so here we have write form tag with attribute method is equal to post, attribute it is equal to programmer form. Under this form first we want to create one text box for enter programmer name, so here we have write input tag with attribute type is equal to text, name is equal to name, it is equal to name. So way for enter programmer skill details we want to define one more text box, so here we have write input tag with attribute type is equal to text, name is equal to skill and it is equal to skill. Lastly in form, we want to create one submit button for submit form data, so here we have write input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to submit, it is equal to submit and value is equal to submit. By clicking on this button user can submit form data to server. Now we have moved to write jQuery code and in this part first we want to activate bootstrap token field plugin on skill text box, so here we have write dollar with text box id skill with token field method. This method will activate token field plugin on skill text box, under this method we have used jQuery user interface library autocomplete widgets. By using this widgets we can enables pre-populated list of the values as they type. Under this autocomplete widgets we want to make pre-populated list of values, so here we have write source and here we have defined pre-populated list values like PHP, code igniter, HTML, jQuery, JavaScript and so on. This source of data will be the values of pre-populated list box while user will start type. After this here we have write one option show autocomplete on focus of token field plugin set to true, this option show autocomplete suggestions menu on focus or not, here we have used true then it will display menu on focus and it will work only with jQuery user interface autocomplete widget. After activate bootstrap token field plugin on skill text box with all define option with jQuery autocomplete widget. Now we want to write jQuery code for submit programmer form data to server using Ajax request. 
So here we have write dollar with form id programmer form with on method and under this method we have write submit event with anonymous function with event argument. So when we have click on submit then this code will execute. Under this first we have write event argument dot prevent default method. This method will directly stop the submit form value to server. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar with trim function and under this function we have write dollar with text box id name with value method with length method is equal to zero. This code will check if name text box value is blank then it will execute if block of code. So here suppose name text box has no value then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write alert with message like please enter your name. This message will pop up if name text box has no value. Then after we have again write else if statement and under condition we have write dollar dot trim function and under this function we have write dollar with text box id skill with value method with length method is equal to zero. This code will check if skill text box value is blank then it will execute this block of code. So here also when skill text box has no value then it will execute this block of code and under this block we have write alert statement and under this we have write message like please enter at least one skill. So this message will pop up when skill text box has no value. Now we have write else statement and this block of code will execute if name text box and skill text box has some value then it will execute this else block of statement. Under this we have defined variable form data is equal to dollar this with serialized method. This will convert form data into text string in standard URL encoded notation and store into this form data variable. After this we want the disabled submit button. So here we have write dollar with submit button is submit with attribute method with two argument and in both argument we have write disabled. This code will disable submit button. Now we have start writing Ajax request for submit form data and under this request we have write first option URL set to insert.php. Here we have send request to this URL. In second option we have write method option and in this option we can define which method we should use for send form data to server and here we have write post method for send form data to server. In third option we have write data option and in this option we can define which data we want send data to server. So here we have write form data variable in which we have store form data in URL format. In fourth option we have write before send callback function. This function has been execute before Ajax request has been sent to server and under this we want to change submit button name. So here we have dollar with button is submit with value method and under this method we have write submitting. So it will change button name from submit to submitting. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and this function will receive data from server which we can fetch from this data argument. Under this function we have write of statement and under condition we have write data variable value is not equal to blank. This condition will check if this variable has some data then it will execute if block of code. Under this block first we want to clear name text box value. So here we have write dollar with text box id name with value method and under this method we have write blank value. This code will clear name text box data. After this we want to clear skill text box value. So here we have write dollar with text box id so with token field method with two argument. In first argument we have write set tokens option and in second argument we have write blank array. Here we have used this code because we have activate token field plugin on this text box and this code will clear skill text box data. Now we want to display success message on above the form so here first we have defined one span tag with attribute it is equal to success message. 
Under this we will display form success message. For display success message under this tag, so here in query code we have write dollar with span tag add success message with HTML method and under this method we have write data argument. So which data we will receive from server it will display under this tag. After this we want to enable submit button which we have disabled, so here we have write dollar with button is submit with attribute method with two argument. In first argument we have write disabled and in second argument we have write false, this code will enable submit button. And lastly we want to change submit button value. So here we have write dollar with button is submit with value method and under this method we have write submit. This code will change button value method from submitting to submit. So here our Ajax code is ready. Now we want remove success message from above form. So here we have write set interval method and under this we have write dollar with span at success message with HTML method and under this we have write blank value and after this we have write 5000. This code will remove success message after 5 seconds from web page. Now we have moved to write PHP code on insert.php for insert tag data into table. So here we have write of statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post name variable. This condition will check if this variable value is set or not. Suppose this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this first we want to make database connection. So here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new no class with object my SQL host is equal to local lost. Database name is equal to testing, username argument set to root and password object set to blank. This code will make database connection. After this here we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into programmer table with table column like name skill with values like double colon name and skill. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to database connection string dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable. This statement will prepare query for execution. Now we want to execute this query so we have write dollar statement with execute method and under this method we have pass double colon name and skill value get from dollar post name and skill variable in array format. This code will execute insert query. After this we want to fetch result from query execution. So we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. This method will fetch result from query execution and store into dollar result variable. From this dollar result variable value we can know data properly inserted or not. So for this we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function and under this function we have write dollar result variable value. This code will check this variable value is set or not. If dollar result variable value is set that means data properly inserted into table and it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar output variable is equal to success message like your data has been successfully saved into system. This message will on web page after successfully data enter into table. Now we want to send value of this dollar output variable to Ajax success callback function. So here we have write echo statement with dollar output variable. So here our code is ready now we have save it and check output in browser. Friends we can see when page has been load into browser. So here we can see one simple form with two text box like name and skill with one submit button. So here when we have directly click on submit button then we have enter pop up alert message like please enter your name. So in name text box we have write John Smith as name and after this we have again click on submit button.
After click on submit button we have again received pop up alert message like please enter at least one skill, that means our required field validation code is working. Now we have moved to enter skill data, so when we have click on skill text box, then we can see one list of pre-populated data which we have store and query user interface autocomplete widget, so here that data has been loaded here. So here we have select PHP from list of data. After click on PHP list has been hide and PHP string has been converted into one single tag with remove button. This has been done by using bootstrap token field plugin. Here we can also remove skill by click on this remove button. So this type of feature has been get by using this bootstrap token field plugin. Here we can enter one or more skills so here we have again type PHP and after this we have select code igniter, query and MySQL, this way we can enter one or more skill by using bootstrap token field plugin with query user interface autocomplete widget. Now we have filled form data and submit form data to server so here we have click on submit button. After clicking on submit button we can see here button has been disabled after click and its name has been changed from submit to submitting and after this we have received thank you message on web page. Now we have go to table and check token field tag data properly inserted or not. So here we can see that token field tag data has been inserted in this format into table. So this way we can use bootstrap token field plugin for make stylish tag data as per user interface requirement and after this inserted into my SQL table. I hope you have enjoyed this topic and learned something new from this topic. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.